In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to do an abdominal rollout on a Swiss ball. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that I've got a mat here, and that's for knee comfort. I'm going to be in a kneeling position. If you're using a mat, or even if you don't have a mat, do have something underneath the knees, for example, a pillow, something soft. You don't want to have any knee discomfort when you do this exercise. Now, firstly, I've got my knees at hip width apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the ball far enough away where I can just about reach it. So once I've got that position, I can just about reach the ball with my fingers. I'm going to place my hands in the middle of the ball without moving the position of my knees. So I could just about reach the ball. I lean forwards, get my hands in the middle of the ball. From here, look how my elbows are completely straight. And I'm going to come forwards with my hips and back up. So we've got hands in the middle of the ball. Watch how my hips come down. Arms stay completely straight. And you come back up. So one more time. Fingers just about touching the Swiss ball. Hands in the middle, arms straight, completely locked. You can interlink the fingers if you would like to as well. And from here, hips come down as you start rolling towards the ball. And contract as you come back up. What you don't want to do is you don't want to come forwards and that lower back is arching excessively. You don't want to bring the hips too far down where you've almost got this kind of curve going on, that excessive curve of the lower back. If you're coming down and you're feeling the lower back, the chances are that you're not bringing the hips into a position where they're high enough. If you're not feeling the core when you do the exercise, your hips might be too high when you're doing the exercise. Play about with it, practice it. If you're doing it in a gym, what you might want to do is do it side onto a mirror so you can see the position of your hips and get that feedback when you're doing your abdominal rollout. You'd repeat that for your desired amount of sets and repetitions, and you can of course roll out and hold the position, or alternatively, you can do repetitions like I just did.